temperatures are hitting our region this week, but there are hundreds of people who will have to stay cool without electricity because of planned outages. WSMV's Brendan Tierney reports NES says these outages are needed despite the high temperatures. Lines were closed at Sharon Sandals House to keep the heat out and candles had to be lit after a planned power outage cut off her lights Tuesday morning. Got my car out and parked it out front so I wasn't trapped. And um, our house is still pretty cool since it's overcast today. NES crews on scene say this outage was needed for tree trimming and construction work near the power lines in her neighborhood along Richland Avenue. It's just one of five outages planned for this week during the extreme heat. Well, because we didn't have power, my watch isn't charged. I don't know, but they had said it would, should be on by 12. People living here along 10th Avenue in North Nashville will have their power turned off for up to eight hours this Thursday night. But many people I talked with say they had no idea that this outage was happening. If I'm paying for the service, I would like to be able to have power when I'm when I'm paying for it. Matt Remke says this outage will keep him from being able to work overtime hours from his home office. He's also concerned about sleeping without air conditioning and food possibly getting spoiled. Yeah, in the middle of July is a, a very suboptimal time to be doing this maintenance. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate when it's 100 degrees plus outside all week. It would have been a lot better if this had been like April. NES released a statement about the outage that reads in part, year-round planned maintenance outages are necessary to replace poles and other equipment, to trim or remove trees and vegetation that's near equipment, or to allow customers to repair their own equipment. They are a critical part of our operations and safety plan and are sometimes required during warm weather months to proactively correct issues so we can continue to provide reliable power to all customers. And while Sharon says she understands this maintenance must be done, it's still an inconvenience. Crank the air down to 68 last night. <laughs> ah, did you hear that? We have power. It just came back on. Thankful her outage only lasted four hours, but concerned about other people in the heat. In Nashville, Brendan Tierney, WSMV4. Congrats to her. We have mm -hmm. a full list of the planned outages in our story posted on our website and the WSMV app.